Well, good day, tubes. How's she going today? Pretty good here. So, a couple things we're working on here. Uh, I tried lifting on that uh, saw head the other day onto the track. And I got it together. I got it tight. And I got those tracks exactly, exactly the width they wanted at. And that thing does not fit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I'm going to have to do some monkeying around with it, I guess, here, and uh, see if I can get it to uh, fit onto the tracks. I don't know why. I've got everything to the letter from that uh, manual, putting it together, and it will not fit on. It does not fit on. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, um, I put a post on their... Um, Oh, it's the Woodland Mills, uh, Woodland Mills Talk Facebook group, and some of them are saying, "Oh, there's shims you got to take out in the wheels. You might have to take a shim out, and then it might fit better." I'm like, "What? I, I I'm gonna have to look at it and take one of these wheels off. I'll show you this when we get to it, but take one of these wheels off, see what's going on there, because I'm pretty sure that you know, it's like the frame of the thing. There's a little washer, and then there's like the wheel, and then the bolt that holds it on." Well, if I take that washer, we'll say out, which they're calling, I guess, a shim. If I take that out, well, that's now going to make that thing not run a spin, I would think myself. So, anyway, you know, I got to look at it anyways here. Get her back up in the air. We'll see um, see what's going on and uh, that. But anyways, first of all, before we do that, I picked up a new tripod here. Going to open her up here for you. So this is the one here that I kind of squashed the other day. and. It kind of wrecked this, uh, you can't bend aluminum back when she's bent, right? It's just junk. So, and I gave her a hoof there too, but I'm going to see if it'll hold us hold us up once more here. We'll uh, pop this one open and have a look at her here. Anyways, let's have a look at her here. So this is just a, an Amazon special, although it's supposed to be a taller one than the ones I've been using here. And I did spend a little more money on it too, so hopefully it's... Uh, a little bit better quality. Of course, everything you look at on Amazon, oh, there's some reviews that are really good, probably because they're paid to say they're good or whatever. And then, there, of course, there's bad reviews on it too, and you know, whatever. But some people, oh, the drive's broken. Well, you probably dropped it. <laughs> you know, trying to get something replaced for free because they screwed up. Oh, smokes. So what is this? Professional. Per now we're professionals. I feel so much better. Professional tripod. So if I like this one, I might get another one and replace my other one that I have inside only because I guarantee the little thing that mounts, screws to your camera that mounts to the tripod will probably be different with this one and it won't mesh with my one inside. So let's see, it's even a padded case. Nice. I'm downstairs waiting for us to open it here and it's uh, got really cold too. Alright, what else have we got in yeah, So this one here has to be a little uh but yeah, so this one's I do believe oh wait a sec here now. Okay, that's I think the little guy. There it is um Allen keys and stuff even there. Wow, okay. Something we gotta put together, maybe. Alright, let's have a look at the main guy here. It's actually a fairly heavy duty tripod. Like it feels heavy, which is good. And I think this one also had another monopod too, which I'm like, oh that's it's kinda sweet. I had a monopod before and it was actually pretty good, so. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, so there. Oh, these actually go this way. Let's see. Oh, man, nice and stiff and stuff. Uh, let's get you back a little bit here. Well, let's see here. Gives you a spare thing too, so I guess that's good. Um, now, there's no 
uh, handle for it, you know what I mean? Not that I can see yet, anyways. Just gonna put her out to the full limit here. I think this one's supposed to be 81 inches or something. Which I thought was pretty darn decent. Holy smokes. That's go quite a ways. Okay. Holy smokes, it goes up again. Um, okay. Maybe this one didn't have the monopod in it. I thought it did, but I must have been looking. I was looking at a couple different ones. So. Like something walking across my bridge there. Okay. okay. Give me something to get used to. It's a little weird here, but. seem to have like the stick. You know, usually there's a little stick on it. Let's uh, get you in closer here and have a better look. Things up so high there. <laughs> Couldn't get it all in the shot, but um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of neat how that works. A little different. Now you just clamp back in, I guess. And this is for your ball thing, so you can move that all around. It's interesting, usually like there's a stick thing, but this I guess doesn't have a stick thing. And that's for moving that, so then you can lock lock that fella in too, I, I guess. And that's for the ball. That locks oh, that locks your ball. I'm not really sure what this thing does, but Hmm. Oh, that locks this guy under there. Okay, so that we gotta tighten. Okay. Alright, well let's switch the deweys here because I don't think let me pull this one out of the bottom of the camera here first you're gonna probably hear some funny noises here and this is the uh, the other one so I might even just pick up another one of these tripods so everything's the same I usually just leave these things attached to my camera but yeah these are definitely not gonna fit And I gotta fish this guy onto the bottom of this camera. And uh, yeah, let me do that first and then we'll uh, slide you back in here. Okay, so we're in. I'm gonna loosen the ball thing. It's. Yeah, it works pretty good. And then. And then the movement this way seems pretty good. So yeah, they give you an extra. An extra one of these guys, which is, which is kind of good. But then it doesn't work if I don't have a second tripod. So normally, like I say, normally I just leave these things on. But um, now I gotta maybe have to switch back and forth unless I get another one. But anyways, sweet. So I guess they give you these Allen keys for tightening up these things and stuff. Which is kind of neat. And then uh, these things are for if you're on soft ground for the feet. Which I just normally use these plastic rubber things here. And they seem to work pretty good. I don't really change with those other things, but if 
feels like a nice solid tripod like it's solid which is good like when you think of like this well this one of course is down been damaged and broken now but solid feeling whereas this is like you know junky feeling right so sweet there we go all right well we're gonna go hook up to that guy hook my chain on i got a bar thing going across should hopefully hopefully hold it not slip out on us and uh, we're gonna see what the heck's going on here because this is uh really weird okay so uh i'll get the backhoe going here i guess and get the chain attached i got this bar this bar going right across there that i'm gonna hook to and uh we'll lift her up here and see what's going on
so you can see how we're on here really good but then over here I'm out like a lot that's not gonna work there so I don't know I'm gonna try to take out I don't know if you can see it but in between the wheel and the frame there there's a washer I'm gonna try to take that out on this side and see if that helps at all I don't know if it will or not it might it might not probably not but let's uh, see what we can do here I don't know really don't want to have to unloosen all the track just to bring it out a hair bit more I mean holy smokes really that would really suck well, let's see if we can get it off with our nice new impact here should be good as we put it on so. a fair bit more weight off of this. Hang on a sec. here I guess darn it okay I must say all the stuff they've got in here though like that's kind of what the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna try to take this one out. Yeah, there's one shim in there. There's another one, but I think this one's gotta stay in or it's not gonna spin on that. close but uh, we won't know until we tighten things down again here. Oh geez. Just a bit took his out, sorry. Wreck another tripod, that'd be great. Speed we got this on. Two should be lots. Well, we're darn close there, but I don't know if we got enough. Got all the weight off her there now. Well, that's still not right on. There we go. That by George, that might have just got her. Now I gotta do the back one too, but uh just went on I think I think we're actually rolling here now that doesn't seem too bad let me just unhook this chain here oh, 
squeeze it. That's all it was going to take. Let's just roll her slowly here and see. That actually feels pretty good. take that off and uh, let's just show you what's going on here now so it's all rolling good except for right on my log lock thing here this little guy in here there's a little bit of too much stuff sticking out of there see the wheels just hitting her and that I think will change your where your stuff uh, cuts there. Yeah, it's actually lifting it up a little bit. Yeah, definitely moving it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take this all off here again and grind this top part off here, I think. Now, how much, roughly? top of her anyways that's the thing here that holds your uh, you, know, you put her up and then put her against your log and then it <laughs> snaps your log in okay well let's roll her down to the other end here I came across that other one too there so hopefully these stops stop it here before we go off no I gotta adjust them too <laughs> See these stops here? That's going to let it probably go right off. Well, it's hitting on that one. I can adjust those. I think you want to get her back as far as you can, though. But they, uh, they'll they need to be adjusted, too. But it seems to be rolling. I just got to gotta tear this thing off of here quickly and grind a bit off the top of that guy, I guess. It's just hitting that wheel and kind of... And it'll probably wear in eventually, but I don't want to have any issues, right? So, okay, we need more tools. I don't know what size those are, that size. Okay, we'll blast this fella off of here. And I'll grind a little bit off the top. It's gonna make it rust, but I can paint, paint something on it anyways. I must say, you know what, I was always I'm leering against these electric gun things, but this seems pretty darn good, I must say. Oh, I'm going to need an extension for that feller. Let me grab my extension. The little uh, ring on this thing's still pretty stiff, though. be able to uh, maybe just adjust this over a bit that might work I can just push her out of the way instead of having to grind it that'd be nice yeah that'll actually work I think I thought it was a tighter fit than it was but it's not Oh, it's so nice and warm out today. It's hot out. Well, not hot, but the sun's really hot. It's going to be one of them summers again. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right. See if we hear anything funny now. All right. Oh no, we're golden now. 
Yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Make sure we got some clearance. Oh yeah, we got lots of clearance now. That's good, that's what I was after. Lots of clearance, Clarence. Sweet. So there's a little bit of a, a bump between the track transitions. But you know what, it's not too bad. Okay, so now what we gotta do is pretty much one of the last things on the instructions is, uh, I'm gonna have to read them again, but we have to measure between the bunk and the blade on each side just to make sure that the uh, lift thing is going up square. I'm pretty sure it is, uh, but I'm gonna have to measure that, I guess. So I'm gonna go get my uh, small little tape with the millimeters on it, or I could use my uh, micrometer maybe too, my, my uh, mic thingy thingy, that would work too. Let me go grab that maybe. Okay, this, if I can get in here, <laughs> I can measure this. Let me take fit for my size of person, but uh, see here now we're going to turn this to millimeters oh no that's not going to work for me unless I put the saw head up higher but they want it to be kind of low uh, okay I gotta go grab my other tape I just can't get this right in here nicely to get a good measurement on it, so I can't really kind of guesstimate on that. Darn it, I wanted to use this thing. It's a sweet tool. This is a really sweet tool. I like this thing. It's cool. Oh well. Okay, let's try this again. This should fit in here. This is a normal measuring stick thingy. Oh, even it's too tight. <laughs> really? Ah. Uh. Well, I'm going to go up a bit with the saw head, I guess. Okay, and I can probably lower this until I get a perfect right-on measurement. That's really hard to do from in here. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so we are 130 millimeters. This side. Yeah, we're a bit too low. So this cable we have to bring in a bit more. And that should lift this one a bit higher. So that's got to follow these cables now and figure out which one's which. Because <laughs> I don't remember now. And I didn't bring my wrench. That or we could, uh, yeah, we should lower this one, I guess. We're only off by like a couple of millimeter, but that'll definitely make a difference in your wood. So, okay. Um, okay, so yeah, this one, look at the rust on the blade already, eh? Jeez, it's like powdered. This one we want to bring up. So the left side we want to bring up. Okay, fun stuff. Okay, we got everything adjusted. I'll show you where that is. It was tricky, but got everything at, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but 130 on each side. Should be good, I think. Should be good. And uh, let's get you off this tripod. Sweet new tripod. So, way up here, you got to adjust these guys here. And uh, this is actually the right side, and that's the left side, believe it or not. 
confusing, but anyways, that's the way she works, so. Um, I haven't checked the other bunks yet, though, for uh, blade levelness. It seems to be rolling pretty good on there. They say eventually these uh, will wear, the tracks will wear into the wheels kind of thing. The wheels have a bit of a dish in them. These are square, so it'll actually wear that perfectly down. I'm sure that's a lot of back and forth, and but anyways, I gotta do a bit more measuring here, and uh, I don't, I don't know if I can fire this up today. I don't think I have enough oil. <laughs> I'm just thinking now. I don't think I got enough oil for it. I need a bit of oil for that, and of course gas. But I got lots of that. I just have to eat beans and eat lots of gas. No, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing you. Uh, there might be a couple other few things here and there. I just gotta kind of check. Um, I'm, I'm presuming they run it when they put it together, you know, just to make sure everything's tracking. Maybe they don't. I gotta check the, the torque on that too. 20 to 25 or two and a half to three full turns from snug. Okay. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but anyways, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like she's tracking anyway, so that's good. But I'm gonna measure these other bunks just to make sure everything's good there, and uh, we'll see if there's anything else we gotta do in the book. Okay, they want us to check the torque on this. They say 20 to 25 foot pounds, so I got it set at about 23 ish or so. Let's just see if we get a click here. Hmm. That, or I think they want you to, I'll show you this after, but they want these to go flush. Oh, that's it. Okay, let's back her off again here. Check her here, I'll move you around here. So there's little washers in here that are cup shaped and they're squishing together and keep kind of a spring in there. So this little, this little area here and then, then this flange here, they want it to be kind of flat. Get a click here, hopefully. We would have got them by now. There it is. Hardly there, but let's try it again here. And that's it. Let go. Okay. Now I think tracking was next, but I'm I'm presuming that they've got this already set up here for us, but I don't know. All right. So they want us to uh, check the wheels, make sure they're. Aligned on both band wheels. I guess we got to spin it manually. They give you lots of things to attach these covers down, I guess, to keep them from vibrating. There's a latch here I had to put on. A latch way over here I had to put on. Why they didn't put that on the factory, I don't know. <laughs> That would take them 10 minutes more, right? Okay, so blade track, and let's get you in a little closer here. I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know if I can actually turn that. Oh yeah. I guess they just want to see if it's wobbling. Now this is supposed to be loose like that, apparently. That to me seems weird. Oh, that's really sharp. <laughs> But that's the way they want it to go, so that actually should be going, oh, freaking bolt, should be going this way. But basically this just, that's going to get caught eventually. <laughs> this just gives it traction on this wheel, so. So we're just kind of looking to see if the teeth are tracking straight. It looks pretty good to me. It's just barely touching you know the, the the actual tooth looks pretty good and adjusting those I guess in behind here there's these blocks that must push so if you tighten one one way it'll twist the wheel this way and that'll change which way it's going oh boy I hope that doesn't get too messed up too <laughs> too soon here because that's gonna make it a real nightmare Looks good though. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get you a bit closer and you can see what's going on here too. You can see just how much tooth is sticking out there, right? So as I spin this, it doesn't kind of track off and want to come off itself. Seems like it's pretty good there, so. All right, and this thing here, um, for when you're doing smaller boards, you shove this thing in. And that's like a blade guide thing. I'll show you this here too. It's got a handle on the back here that you push. And it just kind of helps support that blade a little bit, right? So if you're cutting real small stuff right against the bunk here, you got something that this is kind of being supported with a little bit. And this is all adjustable here too for, apparently there's bearings and stuff in there as well. that you adjust this down or something here, I think it was. I don't really remember now. But uh, yeah, that's to help support a little bit. You know, it's so tight there, it should be good, but we'll retract her anyways, right back there, so when we're ready to cut the top off a log here soon, we'll, uh, we'll be good. Okay, let's check the book anymore stuff in here. So they're going through drive belt tension That gets, uh, drives on that belt too, right? That seems pretty tight there, but you then loosen these guys and then hawk this thing up a bit more and then tighten that feller down. So really we don't have a whole lot, a whole lot more adjustment on that, but that's actually driving off the engine, drives this, this pulley, you know, and then it gets traction off of this, this belt here. And then, uh, it's a different way to kind of do it. You're relying on a belt though. I don't know if I really like that, but... Anyways, that's just uh, tightening. We should be all right for that until she wears in a little, a little more a bit. We got that guy uh, tension tightened up on that. Blade tracking, we've done that. Uh, follower, that's what they call this thing down below here. So that'll adjust that. I think we're actually pretty good. We just got to get some oil and uh, we should be good to go. Well, I doubt there's any any oil in it. Let's see if we can get rid of this plastic crap now. Protectant stuff. Highly doubt there's any oil in it, but we'll have a look here. No. Bone dry. Yeah. So we'll have to get some oil. I'll see what I got. I like using a straight 30 weight. But I don't know if I got enough left now. Well, holy smokes, I think I do have enough oil. Sweet. Now this isn't easy to get into. <laughs> Not too sure I'm really liking that, but that's okay. Uh, what about the other side? I uh, know it's even worse. He's got the arm right there. But I think I can get in over here. Well, we'll give her some oil anyways here. If I can get in here decently enough. And of course it's 1.1 liter. So it's one of these whole jugs and then another spit of the other one. I'm sure one will get it running though. This isn't actually a full liter though. It's a 946 mil. It's actually one quart. It's all measured by you guys down the states up here, right? It's all measured by the quart. And that's actually not taking a whole liter. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. It's going too fast. Well, we'll put some gas in it too, I guess. This uh, good engine here does actually have a little oil alert too on it. So that's something they stole from Hondas. Honda was the first one to start that. Back in the day, good old Hondas.
I don't know actually how long I'm going to like this engine really for. I, I mean, I've never really had Kohler, so I can't really say if I like them or not, but I'm a Honda guy. <laughs> so this might get changed over to a 12, 14 horse Honda maybe. I don't know yet. We shall see what comes about. If it's any good or not. It might be fine too. I don't know. It's probably just me. But uh, anyways, let's see if I can jam a little more in here. Yeah, I can see it sticking out there. That's probably good. Just don't want her streaming out, but I can see it on the threads there now. Good to go. Okay. I will take the rest of this oil back in and go get some gasoline. All right, we got some juice to put in them here. Ground juice, fermented ground juice. There's quite a cap on this thing too. Wow, it's substantial. Now there's a weird spring thing in here. Oh, it's hooked to the little, okay, gotcha. And I traditionally don't like using these little strainer things. Since I'm having trouble with my fuel and stuff the last little while, I think we're gonna strainer that. I just wanna check in there. I don't think I can even see in there. It's clean. It doesn't smell like gas anyways. Now let's see if I can actually get this thing in here. Oh boy. Glad I didn't have a full can here. I'm not gonna fill her up, I'll just put some in it. Just enough we can make a bit of noise, spin a bit of metal here. See how she works. So I had to set up all the throttle cable and all the everything, adjust all that stuff and get it working. And Hopefully I got her set right. Now this thing uh, also has a little device on it so when you pull your throttle in it starts the uh, blade lubrication water stuff going. So that's kind of cool. The other one's had a little thing down here on the panel. All right, so we got gas, we got oil. That's the cereal stuff. I guess we'll take that off after. Let's go have a look down here and see what we got to do here now. Oh, just so you felt good. That's yeah, 429 cc. Why couldn't they make that piston or cylinder one bazillionth bigger, and it would have been 430 or 428? No, 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 can't do that. Um, okay, so this is fuel on, I guess, there. That's probably choke on. It's interesting. There's a little couple of wires going down under here. What the heck's all that about? I can hear something clicking like a little micro switch. Oh, something for the fuel, I guess. I probably should bust this off of here just to see if we got uh, fuel coming out. But yeah, there's a the little wires. Um, I'm gonna presume we have fuel coming out. Choke's on there now, so it should just fire right up here. Wait a minute, we might have an off switch somewhere. We... Well, maybe that is the off switch too. Okay, I'm gonna put you on a tripod here, hang on. All right, let's see here. Fired right up. Just let it run there a minute, maybe. Yeah, she just fired, fired, fired right up. Well, that's a 
All right. So yeah, over here, I had to uh, get all this hooked on the right spot, and then way the heck over here, I had to adjust her on the engine here, and then this uh, starts your water here, right? So when you pull your throttle, it starts to flow water down. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, I like to see that going with the covers off. Let's uh, pull them off here for a sec again. Really see how she's tracking. No worries, all guards under there. I'm not going to cut my hand open. Man, now I wish I had a tree. I don't have any trees. needs war in a bit too. Look at all that flopped around, eh? Wow. I'm not sure if that's actually running fast enough. Uh, so I might have to, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to adjust this guy a little more yet. So I need to uh, shut her off here. Oh, we get to shut it off. Hey, yeah, that's pretty slick. Uh, yeah, I need to adjust this a bit more because I don't think that's going fast enough. So that needs to get tightened over here if we can. Spare a little bit. Which I'm going to need my uh, screwdriver. Okay, let's see if we can score a little more. I just, uh, I don't think that's revving high enough. It should uh, go up a little more than that. Let's mark uh, this thing here, actually. Just to see if I do score anymore. Right there. And, uh, let's see if we can get any, any more revs out of it. Oh yeah, that was that was a good pull there. Okay, we got about half an inch off of that. Now. Yeah, I think we're I think we're better now. Okay, let's try it again here. It's fired up and uh some throttle and see what happens. Some throttle. Well, that's better. Yeah, that'd be better. I think I would have done a before and had problems. Problem with that, so beautiful. Now that's rust I probably should have cleaned off of there before I ran that because it's going to probably be hard on these belts. But uh, no, I think we're good. Sweet. Just going to let that sit there and idle a couple minutes, I think, let her kind of work in a little bit. I'm letting that thing run in a little bit there. There's something we got to work on too here. The old Kubota tiller, remember last year it was great, but I think the freaking ethanol and the gas ruined this. Ruin this little seal here, this rubber thing. And I had it at our friend's house doing a new part of their garden and, you know, this thing, it tilts back, right? Well, all the fuel goes back there and it was just pouring out. I'm like, ah. So if I uh, open this, oh yeah, it's all hard and crunchy, right? So I'm going to have to seal it up. You can't see the damn thing anyways in there hardly, so I think what I'll do is just put her back in and then seal her up. I got this new stuff that's sort of new out. Moto seal. I'm going to try it and see what it does. It's good for uh, case halves, resistance to automotive fuels, temperature range is good. Ideal for, it said somewhere on here, gasoline. Non-hardening gasoline resistant. So that's what we're going to stick on there and glue her back together. 
<laughs> and uh, I might even just smear it over the top so it doesn't, you know, because you can't see the stupid thing anyways. If it doesn't run, there's obviously no gas in it or there's something else wrong, right? You've got to be smart about these things. So, I mean, it ran great out there, um, but, yeah, it had problems. So, anyways, there we go. But, uh, anyways, this thing's out here running. I guess we're gone as far as we can today with it. Yeah, it sounds like it's idling there pretty good, so I'll, uh, I like to kind of run things out of gas. But I guess this you can't run out of gas, so <laughs> I just don't like relying on needle and seats to, to hold uh, hold back gas, right? So uh, uh, mm, I don't know what to say about that. But uh, anyways, well, we didn't try the water system out. We'll do that when we actually. Uh, well, they want you to run it for half an hour without water, which is kind of weird. I think it'd be awful hard on the on the uh, on the blade. But anyways, we got to get wood too as well, something to cut. I'm thinking that one big tree there, I'm going to have to drop her down into my yard here, I guess, because it's got uh, the whole tops dead on it. So you know what? I might as well get her out now. And I got one just over the river there, too. I don't know if we can see it from here. Not quite. Just over the river there, there's... Uh, no, I can't see it. But anyways, this one here, it's the top's all dead on it, so... We might as well lop it down. And it's a lot of branches I'm going to have to clean up just to get one tree, but... I'll bring up the uh, the forks on this big tractor here and then uh, put them on the forks and then just scoop them away so but that should get us a bit of lumber out of that one tree so that's sweet but uh, oh man there's gonna be any trees left in the whole yard there's a nice big one over here too oh wow it's a real big one I should walk in and have a look see that one see it back in there I'm not gonna take that one down but let's just walk in there and have a look see if I can get in there and remember where I'm going Kind of looks to me like it's on the other side of the river. So I better not go there, honestly. Yeah, anyways. Anybody got trees? Bring out your trees. I'll cut them into long, thin board thingies. <laughs> but yeah, the river, we're actually working back here, pushing the dirt back. And the river's right there. Not a whole lot further, so. That'd be kind of nice to keep pushing this back and I can clear this out. And uh, put the sawmill actually back by the river. We could cut right in the river, let all the sawdust go in the river, wash down the river. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do that or not, but that would be funny. But anyways, another day. That tree there, what is wrong with that one? It might be dead too. I don't even know what it is. I'm not too sure. This one right in front of us here. But uh, yeah, so we're not too far from the river though. That's kind of neat. We're working our way there. I think it's probably the shortest if I just kind of kept putting dirt here I'll just keep backing in the trailer whenever I do dirt and, and get her back and maybe start sloping it down or something but sweet we're almost there but anyways that's it for me today I guess so we'll catch us all later and uh, whenever we get some wood here we'll uh, get sarin I guess this should be left in the high position but I kind of like putting it right down so you can get the uh, weight off the uh, cables right they don't need to be under tension all the time let's put her down maybe until we're ready to use her I had to put all these water hoses on and stuff and it all went good but there's a lot of stuff they could have just kind of done but anyway that's making a sweet noise over there Okay, that's down about as far as we will go. We still have a bit of tension, so maybe I'll see if I can just go. There. Yeah, that's better. Take the tension off of these cables. I just don't really want to have them stretching out all the time, so. This was a bit of a nuisance to put together, and I didn't actually put it together where they wanted it to. It's too wide to begin with for this bar, and they wanted washers in between each here too and it's like no way I'm gonna get that <laughs> so I didn't and it seems to work fine so it should probably be all lubed up because that'll probably end up screwing up eventually oh well well there we go the Woodland Mills 126 HM 126 finally assembled holy moly that was a lot of work hey but we got her that is great 
I think I gotta maybe move these screws to this one though. So if I get a long piece of wood on here, I'm gonna need a, a log stop there and one here. I guess there's one in the middle if you're doing shorter stuff. I might have bolts I can just put new ones in too, just leave all those in there. Because remember those we had to do the 90 on it and everything. That was fun. But uh, yeah, so this thing here, I guess we better put this down too. Thank you, Johnny, for lifting. Let's get the cable off of here. Don't ever walk under your hydraulics. This thing has never been mean to me, ever. One of these days, though, my luck will run out. Ooh, and see, I painted up my chain real nice. Well, it was nice. It's all scratched up now, but it's all rusted and crappy. I'm like, I can spray that. Sandblasted it all the way she went. So, there we go. All right. That is good. We are set. Man, I can't wait to get a log. I'm going to have to get some work done now, though. And I'll have to go put this guy away. But anyways, there we go. Holy smokes. We are assembled. That was that was a lot of friggin' work. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. That sucked, putting that together. <laughs> but we did it. Oh, the track, I think, was probably the worst part. Getting that measured right and everything all oh, bang on. Oh, man. Now, I should probably get some kind of cover for this, too. Whenever I get into my final positioning... Oh, oh. Oh, we can't do that. That's right. We're too low now. Oh, crap. The little log thingy stopped me there. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. Just worried about that kind of blowing around. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Um, but yeah, no, the track sucked. That was really, really crappy. And then getting it level again really sucked too, but I mean, we got it, but... Uh... I'm gonna have to work on that another time. That's, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, put that, uh, where am I gonna put that? Where I'll see it. I'll just fix it, maybe. Uh, I don't know if I can now. Nope. <laughs> Those things are inside of there. Okay, that's not what we're gonna do then. Ah, oh, because that's up a bit too high. I guess it's pushing on that thing, that's why. Oh, for cornflakes. Well, I'll just leave it for now. It'd be all right. Won't go nowhere. Shouldn't anyways. Anyways, there we go. She's together. That's good. Thanks again for watching. We will catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. Sweet. Can't wait to see the sawdust.